Hi. A couple years ago, I sent away and had my ancestry te DNA tested through Ancestry.com. And this month, I decided to get my ancestry tested with 23andMe. So first I'm going to share my results from 23andMe, and then I'm going to compare them because there's actually a very, I think, big difference in how they reported what came back to them. So with 23andMe, what I got was 52.2% British and Irish uh, with a subheading of United Kingdom underneath that, and French and German highlighted Germany, I got 13.1%. Scandinavian uh, with Denmark, 4.2%. Eastern European, 1%. Ashkenazi Jewish, 0.8%. Broadly, Northwestern European, 22.5%. Broadly, Southern European, 0.7%. And then broadly European, 0.5%. Oh wait, no, broadly European, 2.9%. So that's 97.3% European. And then uh, under East Asian and Native American, I have 2.6%. And that is specifically 2.1% Native American and then 0.5% broadly East Asian and Native American. So I'm assuming that's just also Native American. <laughs> and then unassigned 0.1%. So. Most of it, they figured out where to put it, but <laughs> I guess I'm mostly, I'm mostly able to be figured out. So what was interesting about that was is that my ancestry DNA was, how they categorized it was a lot different than that. Before I get to that though, I'll also just let you know what my haplogroup was and then what my Neanderthal DNA was, because that's always fun to find out, you know, just how much Neanderthal you have, right? So my Neanderthal, my Neanderthal ancestry, I've learned something new. Uh, I think this was why I wanted to get 23andMe, because I wanted to find out how much Neanderthal I had. <laughs> and I also wanted to see if the Native American was different, because I also had Native American on Ancestry.com. I actually got more Native American from 23andMe, so just a little bit more. but. So my Neanderthal variants, I have 301 Neanderthal variants. And so it tells me that I have 85% more Neanderthal, no, I have more Neanderthal variants than 85% of all of the 23andMe customers. So <laughs> I am quite Neanderthal, but that doesn't surprise me because I have that German. I was researching, where did the, where did the Neanderthal live? And they live, they lived in Europe and the German, German area. And so I do know that I have ancestors from that region, so I just didn't know that some of them were Neanderthals, but that was, you know, how many gazillion years ago. Um, so that was it. That was interesting. So, and then uh, my maternal haplogroup was H1, which is a very common haplogroup, it says, uh, and that actually 1 in 17 23andMe customers have this haplo maternal haplogroup, and it is mostly found in uh, Europe and Spain, actually. So uh, that was also interesting. So now back to comparing my 23andMe results with my Ancestry.com. So when I took the Ancestry.com uh, test, they gave me all kinds of stuff. I was like a real mixed bag. So uh, I was 94% European through Ancestry DNA. So 51% Europe West, which would be Germany and France, 18% uh, Scandinavia, 15% Celtic, you know, Ireland, Ireland, Scotland, Wales, 6% Great Britain, 3% Caucasus, 2% Europe East, 1% Native American, less than 1% uh, Finland, Northwest Russia, less than 1% of Iberian Peninsula, uh, less than 1% of Asia Central, and less than 1% of Africa North, and less than 1% of Europe South. So if I had to theorize on why they were so different, I think some of that Central Asia maybe, and the I don't know, I think some of that might, I think the, 
I don't know why, but I think, I know that, it, so anyway, I'm going to quit rambling because that doesn't make any sense. But I just, I just found it was interesting that they were so different. However, two years ago when I got the, did the ancestry, I also spent quite a bit of time researching and building my family tree. And so if I were, now that I know uh, my family tree, and I got quite a ways back, and every time I got, I followed most lines out of the, off, out of the United States. So like meaning... I was able to see where everyone kind of came from, like even like recently or like even like centuries ago. And so actually, I think that the 23andMe is more accurate. And I say that because like most of my ancestors, when I trace them back, did come from Ireland and uh, Scotland and Great Britain uh, and the Shetland Islands and and those were my, like, on all sides of my family. And there were Germans, so that German makes sense. So that, I was kind of surprised when 51%, after done, doing my tree, I was a little bit surprised that 51% of my DNA would have been labeled as European. So actually 23 and these make more sense. And then the Native American, that what I was kind of expecting because my mother's mother's grandmother's mother or something like that quite a ways back but there's always been a, a story of of a, of a native american grandmother uh and i and i kind of found her because i found a woman in that position in the family and i couldn't get past her so it's like whenever i got to someone who i can't find where you're from well, that, that made sense to me so so that's there so it all it all makes sense but i was surprised how different they were, especially once I got my tree, my tree built. But anyway, those are my results. Enjoy.